it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, May 7th. So welcome to the new moon day. Of course, we have all day to build towards this new moon. We will be having the new moon in Taurus pop off at 11.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So depending on where it is that you're at in the world, this actually may be building in intensity into the wee hours of May 8th. So we are definitely going to feel the low, slow, steady buildup of energies, of clarity, also of frustration, because of course the new moon is the dark phase of the moon. There's no illumination in the sky. We have to sit in the funk, sit in the darkness, illuminate to ourselves what it is that we do not want to experience any longer, what it is that we no longer want to bang our head against a wall about. And from that, we come up with alternatives that in turn, really kind of morph into our new moon intentions. What we focus on, what we get excited about, what we're concentrated on building, creating, bringing to life is what we are going to be actively working towards for this lunar cycle. So of course, I am going to recommend if you haven't already take a listen to the new moon forecast that I put out there for this event, download your May Zodiac forecast so that you understand where it's going to be highlighting certain areas of your life, download the Taurus season e-guide, flip to this particular astro shift, capture what is going on for you. This is going to be a long term storyline. So it's good to kind of, you know, capture what's going on for you right now because you're going to have to look back at your guide in a couple of months in order to figure out what it is that you actually initiated under this time that is coming into full manifestation in the months to come. And of course, if you want to do a serious deep dive, I am going to recommend that you join the moon guide where we do a deep dive in this moon event, all the aspects, how it relates to your chart, what this is actually going to mean for you and how you can align with the energies instead of just kind of being dragged along. So with all that being said, the moon is in Taurus all day. We are building in intensity throughout the day. It is a fixed earth sign. So this is a very low, slow progression to this peak potency. Of course, we had some pretty significant energy blasts here yesterday, helping us to illuminate the power struggles, the frustrations, where it is that we have to become a little bit more disciplined in our approach to persevere through the hardships in order to actually see things through. We also had Mercury and Chiron meet up again for the third time since March 20th. This was like a flashback pre-eclipse season. And now things are starting to make more sense. The clarity's coming in. The aha moments are starting to pop off. And this is helping to paint a very beautiful picture on what it is that, again, we are bringing to life under this new moon in Taurus cycle. So there are seven different aspects taking place here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. We kick the day off with a pretty beautiful, I'm going to say very beneficial energy uh, between the sun in this Taurus energy, sextiling, a merging of energies with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, system structures, willpower, discipline in this Pisces energy, really helping us to kind of get in alignment with a higher mission, with a higher purpose. And a lot of that is collapsing, deconstructing the inner egoic programming, keeping us from actually aligning with this new mission, with this new goal, with this new dream. So this particular interaction, first of all, brings us back down to earth. We are grounded. We are stable. We are focused on all the tasks, all the chores that we need to do to wrap up, tie up the loose ends from the past so that we can have a clean space, a clear space to actually start building something new. Again, slow and steady wins the race. Discipline and determination definitely need to come out to play in order for us to bust through the obstacles that we are going to face in this first set of challenges on trying to initiate a brand new path. This is motivating. This is, I'm going to say, empowering in a lot of ways, but we are operating from a logical, practical standpoint on what needs to be done in order to close the door and open up the door to a brand new reality. 
Okay, so the moon in Taurus is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire. He's in his rulership. In Aries energy, we got some pep in our step. We're tapping into the warrior type of spirit. We're building in our boldness, in our bravery, in our tenacity, in our courage to actually bust away from what it is that we had been doing in order to blaze a brand new path moving forward on a new quest in a new adventure to pursue something new, something different, something with the higher calling, a deeper meaning, a more significant purpose to some of the things that we were trying to achieve when our old self was in power. The moon interacting with Mars in this way, again, Mars helping to build and cultivate this inner spark, this inner fire, this inner passion, this inner desire. The moon in Taurus giving us an emotional grounding point, again, operating from logic and practicality, what needs to be done first, systematically, methodically calculating how we are going to assert ourselves and exert our energy out into the world to advance on this path, in this plan, in the direction that we now need to go. The moon is then gonna come up to, bump into, team up with Venus. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, money. She's in her rulership in Taurus energy. She rules over Taurus season. Now she's going to be in her rulership over this new moon in Taurus. You best believe that this is going to be a powerful interaction. A conjunction is just as much an ending as it is a beginning. And emotionally speaking, we are bringing to an end where it is that we have been playing small, dimming our light, keeping our mouths shut in order to keep the peace. What is the beginning, you may ask? Well, we are starting to get very in touch with our wants, needs, and desires, with our needs, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. We're understanding, again, where it is that we have the opportunity to tap into our creator force energy and actually create a realm, a reality, a exix, an existence, an environment that not only looks good, but that feels good. Again, we're doing everything with a little bit more mission, a little bit more meaning, a little bit more purpose now that we've been aligned to our higher selves. So this is going to be, I'm going to call it a charge up in our heart space. Again, operating from the way that it is, not the way that we wished it would be on trying to define again, who and what needs to stay, who and what needs to go. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict with Neptune. Neptune is in his place of power in this Pisces energy. Normally, Taurus energy and Pisces energy get along with each other. There's a growth there. There's a realization there. However, this is a semi-square. This is a tension point, a conflict point in order to illuminate where it is that we're having some growing pains. This is a reminder from Neptune being in this Pisces energy. This is a reminder of our higher mission of our deeper quest of our more intense adventure that we're about to go upon in order to actually allow the higher self to lead now it can feel overwhelming it can feel confusing this is a tension point the resistance the hesitation coming from this taurus energy does not want to change however the mutable energy from Pisces energy needs us to change especially allowing our higher self to take the lead the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. And again, the North Node's purpose is to get us on the right path. This solo quest, this individual mission, if you will, we all have things to do in order to advance our own soul's progression, our own soul's potential. This is a realization on what now we have the option to do what we have the opportunity to build, to create, to bring to life that will essentially launch us in a new path, a new direction to do what we need to do for us first and foremost. Again, filling up our own cup, operating from the highest sense of self, completing quests, karmic chapters, life lessons that are going to help our overall evolution of our soul, of our spirit. So this is an aha moment on where it is that now we see some options and opportunities open up for us. And now we're kind of contemplating what it is that we want to do to take the initial steps, so to speak, in this new path, in this new direction. 
The moon is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Saturn. Saturn, again, being the Lord of Karma, ruling over our roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, willpower, and discipline. This is a beautiful energy. And again, I'm going to encourage you to jo join the moon guide where we talk about all the different interactions taking place underneath this moon event. Saturn is definitely helping us out. He's giving us a sense of responsibility. He's giving us a sense of empowerment, of maturity, to actually work with the life lessons that we've already lived through, that we've already kind of, you know, integrated within us. He's showing us where it is that we need to be grounded, we need to be logical, we need to be practical on figuring out the initial steps that need to be taken in order to build this new foundation, this new structure that will allow us to start piecing together the bigger, broader parts of the picture, so to speak, so that we are building towards a new long-term vision, a new long-term goal. And this is definitely going to, again, give us a little bit of a reality check on where it is that we got to stop messing around, where it is that we got to stop procrastinating, where it is that we have to stop self-sabotaging, get our shit together, get our mind right, and start kind of advancing, even if it's baby steps, in this new path, in this new direction. 11.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon comes up to, bumps into, teams up with the sun at 18 degrees, two minutes of this Taurus energy. This is the new moon. There's a new emotional awareness, a new aha, a moment, a new lunar energy now supporting us to honor our new wants, needs, and desires, our new perspective, our new understanding the new, I'm going to say clarity coming in to show us the path, the direction that we now need to start walking in to build something stronger, something safer, something more stable, something more abundant, something more, I'm going to say joyous in our physical realms.